All right. Do we know? Oh, okay. It's right there. So, yeah, I've motioned to him that we're going to head towards the cemetery. I don't really say anything, but I do kind of, like, because we're walking as a loose group. So uh, I sure. hope that Salamander sees it, but I'm not really paying attention or making sure. So, um, I, I, I hate to be a butthead about that, but I do believe that requires ciphers. <laughs> Just otherwise, that. <laughs> that could mean anything. I have that. What if I point? I don't know, Jim. No, you could do that. That's a reasonable thing. Okay. Ciphers are more like kind of specialized hand signals, like holding your hand up and going like that to mean like halt. Well, still. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, then. If yeah, it was I'd... anything more complicated, yeah. then I'd probably yeah. make you roll cipher, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Sure, I'll follow him then. Okay. That's not okay. Right. And uh, what about Salamander? Did he see that and or is he choosing to follow us? Yes, I'll go with the group. Okay. So, you all walk over to the cemetery. There's a couple people burying a body uh, over a few yards yonder. All right, so I'd like to walk a little bit further from them to make absolutely sure that they're not within earshot. Okay. So, have I arrived there? Yeah. Okay. Good. Then I'm going to turn to blank and... Now that there's no one around who can hear this, I'm going to need you to run through just a quick list. Summarize. I know you're a psyker. What can you do? Actually, no. You mentioned to me on... I'm talking to Richard now. You mentioned to me on Friday that most people don't even know what psychers are. Would that include me? Because I get the witch thing. Well, I would psychers have, I would have are... Uh, do you have, like, common lore Imperium or anything? I don't, I don't... Actually, I think I started with... Ah, fuck, I can't check. Oh, wait, I can check here. Because, no, you probably wouldn't know about psychers. Well, he would. I think it's one of those things you would hear about. I have common lore and no idea what they are. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because everyone's heard of witches and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. I I know like common lore Imperium. Okay. Roll the common lore Imperium with a plus 30, and we'll just say that if you do, then you kind of have a very general idea of what psychers are. There you go. All right. Yeah, I have of, a very general idea of what psychers are. You have a very general idea. You understand that they exist, and they're not all witches. Congratulations. Okay. They can use their minds to do stuff, and that's all you know. <laughs> Alright, so... I hear you can use your mind to do things. I don't know what that entails. Can you set me on fire right now? Uh, if you so desired. I've, I'm not very <laughs> proficient... In that school. List of your powers. I need them now. Vague, but enough that I have a general idea of what it is you are. Most of... I've heard stories. Few. In layman's terms, manifest a lot of powers using warp. Things that include that I can do is... As you saw at the square, I can make myself invisible. I can tamper with people's memories. I did not memories. see that, actually. Well, good. You weren't supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't looking at you when you did it. As far as I knew, you just disappeared into the crowd. Mm-hmm. Well, which I am very familiar with. So, Out of character, I went right up next to you guys and was invisible and was like, look at the crowd. That's yeah. absolutely correct, because I also said we should get out of here before Tempest sees us. So, you are correct. <sighs> Anyways, continue. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I can blind people. I can make myself float. I uh, can heal float, flesh. Float, but not fly? Float, yes. I can... How high can you float? What about this tall? I think you can float... Uh, twice meters. as high or something as your character, basically. Okay, five meters. Mm-hmm. So pretty high. Okay. Um, I can manipulate objects incredibly well within about ten meters. Fun, okay. fun party trick with guards. And I can pull pins off grenades. Hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. We need to do that one. Still, 
still out of character. I don't know that he's imperially sanctioned or what that means. So I'm asking you, are those things that an imperially sanctioned psyker would do? Does it slash matter blank to you? Would, I'm not certain you would it matters even know. to me, not to Mercury. Yeah, it doesn't matter to the game then. Okay. Move on. Okay. Fair enough. So. Um, well, you would make an excellent thief's companion, sir. I, well, that's that's just some of them. The things I can do. One of my more particular favorite things to do is I can, uh, for example, if someone was chasing, I, I could momentarily cause their muscles to spaz. Awesome. particularly useful. Um, other thing that's nice, uh, I can also jam weapons. Well, layman's terms, jam. It's a little bit more complex. Okay, then I so suppose those are the, the second... Those are the few things that are handy in a situation like this. In a second, slightly more important to our scenario question... Do you have any moral quandaries with theft or even murder? In a backwards country like this, no. Even if it didn't mean our survival? If we must survive. Just for the hell of it? If we must survive and food is required. Is someone lifting the cat or did it just... No, there's a ladder over there. Oh. Okay, I didn't see the ladder. I just saw the cat float up. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> um, but no, I, I have, I have no issues with this. Mm. I think I found a decent partner in you, Salamander. You're a man of the cloth. Do you have any qualms with this? No, sir. I am of a different religion than you. It's it's a, it's a crazy religion, and uh, I mean it's very backwards. So Th this guy is legit. He has nothing to do with me or my religion. Does that answer your question? Uh, it does. I'll, I'll take an aside with Salamander. I do take issue with this gentleman, though. <laughs> yeah, why is that? You didn't hear that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's probably not best we discuss this in a public place, even if there is no one around. But Salamander, I do have a few choice words for you uh, regarding the square earlier. However, we'll leave that until we're all fed. And we can worry about more trivial things, like being shot to death. Sounds like a plan. So... Can either of you see in the dark? Nope. And then there goes Devin. Devin died. Devin's back. back. We're good. He's working on being back. He's on his way back. To that. I don't believe you have. I don't think I did. Thought about it. I really did. No, I don't have anything for that. You need a salamander. Well, I, I, I know they don't. Mercury doesn't. Mm -hmm. I'm just reminding him. But uh, I'll look at him. Uh, no, unfortunately not. And you, Salamander? What's the question? Can you see in the dark? No, I cannot. Hmm. And even if you two had some torch lights. Those would have been stolen by the guard. Do you two have any qualms with waiting here in the cemetery until night falls? And following me back to the pens? Fine with me. I, uh, if light is a concern, I, I can manifest no. a light. I want no Man. light. I can see in the dark. We're doing this my way. Stealthily. Hopefully. Oh. Things haven't really gone my way the last few days. We'll see if we can turn that around tonight. Works for me. 
All right, so I have no further plans or questions for them because I got a quick rundown of his powers. So, and neither of them seem to have any issue with um, theft or so murder, if night. need be. Yeah, we're gonna wait till night. All right, Joanna. Oh, and I it also I had carved and uh, whatever like those shivs, yeah. uh, shivs, and I also wrapped them in the cloth I found last week okay. uh, for grip. So I hand one to each of them just so they have. An improvised weapon. A weapon of some should sort. things go south. Although I feel as though now that I know that Blank has psychic powers, he might not need that. Hey, hey, but dude, that can manifest shit with your mind. You want a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Although to be fair, manifesting is a little obvious, depending on what yeah. he's manifesting. So. Well, seeing as there's a witch hunt going on right now, I'm sure people would much rather be like anyway. that guy stabbed a dude than. Uh, did that guy just make that guy explode with his head? So, Joanna, back to you. Yeah. Alright. You it's approach this small farmhouse, and by small, I mean, you know, mansion-sized, giant plantation farmhouse. Um, as you approach, you see um, a small contingent of very heavily armored guards uh, guarding the front door, significantly higher status than... Uh, the city guards that are guarding the farm and the granary. Alright. Well, worked once. Let's try it again. We'll walk up. Wait till they stop me. Oh. Well, I meant that to be private, but... Good. <laughs> <laughs> so? You wanna? Yeah. Um, I'm not muted, right? You're not what now? Okay, cool. You can hear me. Yeah. Well, worked, uh, worked last time. Gonna walk up. Wait till they stop me. Pretend I own the place. You walk up and one of the guards stares you down after about after you get to about uh, ten feet from them. Uh, what do you want, man? Arbitrator. I'm here to speak to Tempest. Arbitrator? There's no arbitrators on this planet. I think this would disagree with you. I hold up my ID. He reaches out for it to take a, bit, a closer look. I'll come a little closer. I don't trust these guys in handing over my shit anymore. Very well. You walk up and uh, display it very clearly, and he, he looks over <clears throat> and looks to the uh, other guard standing next to him. Go tell Tempest. And the other guard runs <clears throat> into the house. So, Arbitrator, what can I do for you? Well, for one, I'd like to tell you that look, I'd like to help on the case here. Uh, very well. You'll need to speak to, uh, I can't remember his first name, Malar, the lead detective on the case. He should be over in the granary. I've already talked to him. Oh, you have? Good. Yeah. Then what do you need? And this is the same guy that took all of our shit, right? No, this is a different guy. Hey, hey, who the fuck am I trying to find? Tempest, right? Yeah. It's up to you. Are you trying to find the captain of the guard? Or are you trying, like, the captain of the city guard? Who was one of the guys that stole your shit? Or this is, like, one of Tempest's elite guys. Completely different. Oh, okay. I was hoping you'd be able to get me an audience with Tempest. If Tempest wills it, he will have an audience. Well, he's already what? Well, he's already uh, put my appointment down twice. I was hoping you'd be able to help me get a word in. Somebody put your appointments down. Never. He said that he might talk to you today or tomorrow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he doesn't know that. Anyways, uh, the other guard uh, comes out and says, <coughs> Tempest will see you. You have five minutes. And motions to the door, which he opens for you. All right. Uh, you walk in a long hallway, and at the end of the hallway is a, uh, like a, a living room, a very, very large, multi-storied living room uh, with oaken floor. It's very nice, actually. Uh, sitting in the room is the body of a 
very nice, pompous looking man with covered in silks and stuff, uh, bleeding from the table. Uh, behind the table, you see Tempest and a bunch of his guards talking amongst each other. He notices you as you enter the room and locks eyes with you. Well, I'm not, I'm not turning away. Okay. So, you're the new arbitrator? Sure, we'll put it like that. What can I do for you, lady? And, okay, double-checking, this is the guy that took our shit, right? No, this is Tempest. This is the dude that was on top of the wall, yelling at everyone. Okay. You were going to ask him for an audience, or to figure out who was the guy who took your shit. Okay. So all you know is that he is a high-ranking city guard, dude. That's all you know about the guy who took your stuff. All right, uh, well, all right, Captain, I was hoping we'd be able to help each other. Oh, and what could you do for me? Well, I'm an arbitrator and a highly trained investigator. I hear you've got a bit of a problem with your farm. I do, but I feel that the uh, security will be tightened now, and, uh... He pulls a, a small dagger out of the man laying in front of you and puts it away in his belt. <coughs> I feel that security will be sufficient now to prevent any future attacks from occurring. Yes, but I'm sure you'd want to find who did this. Oh, I will. I will. This isn't going how I wanted it to. Let me, put, let me put it like this. I was one that was on the ship that crashed a couple days ago. You uh, notice his normally calm facade. He raises an eyebrow and continues to stare at you. We hear... Uh, so with the group, on my way over, we were met by a large group of guards from the city. While we were there are, well, the belongings of everyone that was still alive on that craft was taken. Oh. Yes. Interesting. I'm very sorry to hear that. Uh, do you know, uh, do you know who took it from you? I could give you the face, not the name. A face will do. I'll describe it to him. Okay, so yeah, you describe it to him and he, he nods knowingly. Thank you, I will uh, have this situation taken care of as soon as possible. Does that include the, uh, the returning of these items? Uh, yes, um, once the situation is dealt with, any items that are still recoverable will be given back to their rightful owners. Is there any way I could speed this process up? Uh, I'm sorry, these are... internal matters. Absolutely positive. There is much I can do. Uh, oh, believe me, I am aware and, uh... I may be calling on your service in the near future, Lady Arbitrator. And how soon would the near future be? When I need your help. Ah, fucking shit. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way, then. I'll nod, walk out. I guess I've got some investigating on my own to do for this. As, he, as you turn to uh, walk out, he, uh, <laughs> he raises, uh, his voice to address you. Um, Lady Arbitrator, would you happen to, uh, still be in contact with anyone from the ship? Yes, I am. Uh, thank you. And he allows you to exit. You fucked us. Not quite. 
here. Well, I'm going to start to walk back to the city. Okay. Not to the down window. Just going to start, um, you know, let's head towards the path of money. Okay. Well, I'll move your character down there. All right. Also, while I'm doing so, I want to see if anyone's following me. All right. Roll a perception check. All right. Or an awareness check. It's awareness sure. for following. Ah! I was better at that than I am. Well, let's see how bad I do. Oh, Doesn't look like anyone's following you. Shit. <clears throat> Alright, well, when you reach the Path of Money, um, it is going to be very dark. It'll be probably 8 or 9 at night. All Sun right. has set. All right, back to... Well, I guess we'll do Flint since it's been a long time. What are you up to? Uh, I'm just chilling. Walking back to Downwind. Um, <clears throat> um, by now, you're back. It's, it's yeah, been a... it's been a quite a while. Um, do I notice any of these other jokers on my way back? Uh, I'm assuming no. not. They were all hiked up at the cemetery, and I'm sure Blank is... Or Blank and uh, Merc are doing their best not to be noticed mm. if they're casing the pens anymore. No, we're okay. hanging out at the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> they're just chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We're paying just Jackson or whatever. It's a bro. I'm sure he had a name. Yep. Probably. We're remembering Monty. Monty. He died. By chance, did we look at the corpse? Well, like, was there a corpse or like just a box that they were just shoving in the ground? You did not even bother approaching them, so now you didn't see what they were doing, really. Just told you there was a group of people hanging around, burying a person. Over a couple yards that way until Zach was like, no, we need to move away. So now they're a dozen yards or so that way. Out of your shot. Are they still burying him? No, by now they're done. <laughs> by now there's just a now there's just a grave digger filling in the hole. Um well I'm back at Tax Place and I'm gonna see if they have any food that I can eat. You got any money? No. Nope. Wow. Like no. They're horrible hosts. You paid seven gelt, or wait, seven, right? Yeah. It is like eight. Yeah, seven gelt for a week for like six people. And you expect food with that service? Dude, I don't give a fuck who comes over to my house. I'm feeding them. <laughs> so I get to live with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're all living at Danny's house, right? <laughs> Free food. Yeah. What I've gathered is seven dollars a week. No, yeah. feed me. Done. Make right. it so. Um, yeah, I guess so we have just... it on video, right? Yeah. Mm, <laughs> I guess I'll just. Binding. I guess I'll just pass out. All right, cool. So, you three, what are you three doing? Uh, how dark is it? How dark do you want it to be? What like time are black? you going to like? Okay, well, it's due to there being a couple of lanterns and stuff around the pens and. Yeah some security guards still patrolling it is not pitch black but it is very dark especially outside of that area the pens themselves are decently lit um but yeah from like basically everything up to the bazaar is almost black mm -hmm. as pitch it's very dark outside the pens and the caravan square are lightly lit where there are still people Uh, I guess it's still out of character, but telekinesis in no way, uh, he went a different path than telepathy, right? There's no mm -hmm. communicating via that or anything. Everything has to be uh -huh. verbal or... Uh-huh. Okay. The only, mind, the, only, the, the only means of mind manipulation that I have is that I can do deja vu to somebody, which makes them repeat in action or mm -hmm. I can make people forget 
that they saw me for so many minutes. So if I screw up in a conversation, I could reverse the conversation. Reverse basically. the conversation so he doesn't remember who I am for a couple minutes and then try to do it again. <clears throat> I think. Okay. Yeah, those are the only two things I have that are useful for my manipulation. Um. Right, how far would you say the uh, closest lantern is from the? Since I don't know any of the creature names, I'm just gonna stick with like cow, pig, and chicken. That's yeah, fine. Like to translate that over for him. No, that's so, fine. We'll just go with that um, stuff you can understand. Okay. Well, and, and speaking of, what what kind of food market has dusk stalkers? No, they're just they're just food. stalkers. They're not dusk stalkers necessarily. It's just very vicious. Little, like, badgers, basically. They might just well, be sold as okay. pets. Well, dust stalkers are defined as, and I, I quote, know. frightening hybrid of a withered elderly human and a gigantic four-limbed spider. Yep. That is a dust cool. stalker. Could be sold as pets. Could be sold as food. People are <laughs> weird. People are weird. People are weird. Mm. Well, how uh, far from the chicken pen is the nearest lantern uh enough to cast a light illumination uh over the uh like the fence basically but not enough to wake the chickens inside okay so but it would, my point is it would still look a little suspicious if the two of them were standing underneath it a little bit right mm. all right. um all right so because we're still back over we've left the cemetery but we're more towards the gate of triumph to hear us or no not particularly i mean there's a little guard post right there but besides that no. yeah like as long as we're speaking to ourselves it's not mm -hmm. an issue okay so blink is there anything you've got in your little uh, bag of tricks that might be able to spook some of the wilder animals down there uh Yes, but I would have to be somewhere along the wall to even remotely be within range of hitting or spooking any of these things. How close would you have to be? What's the minimum and maximum distance? I m Maximum would be I'd have to hug the wall. Minimum would be I could be right up next to the cage if you think we could get that close. I could. I'm not entirely certain about you. Although you did say you could go invisible. Can you do multiple things at once? Uh, not easily. Not easily. Damn. That would make things a lot simpler. What about you, Salamander? Is there anything you could do that might spook animals without drawing attention to yourself? No, I just have some really basic melee abilities. Uh, I have a quick draw, so nothing sneaky like that. Hmm. Yeah, out of character. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> not as a cleric. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, cleric's not super sneaky. No. Well, I wasn't looking to him being sneaky as much as just him having something he could do. Like, I don't know why he would, but if he had, like, disturbing voice. No, nothing so, like that. Uh, I don't know who besides tech priests can get disturbing voice. But wouldn't that, like, rattle some of the animals if you were to just sit there going like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Come on, Zach. Fine. Um... Alright, well, I mean, I'd like you to... to yeah. I mean, if if you're worried about sight, if I hug the mm -hmm. wall, I could blow up a lantern. 